As they work their way, folks, make some noise as we get ready to go racing here on a Saturday night at Irwindale Speedway. Watching for the green. It's in the air. And we're racing late models into turn number one. Three wide early. It's the 50 machine diving to the apron. They are three wide throughout the pack, but early leaders, Blaine Perkins. Down on track. These drivers all battling free wide out of turn number four for position. Battle for six. Look at all those cars. Six cars duking it out for six right now. I tell you what, Tommy Haley Deegan is fighting hard on that inside line. Both these drivers right now kind of in a dare mode saying, oh, I'll drift up on you. You want to drift down on me? And they are into each other out of turn number four again. If there is a Talladega draft, <laughs> Blaine Perkins is learning right now. Oh, yeah. See, so we're just getting him ready for leading the pack here. But look at Huddleston oh. leaning. They're three wide for the lead out of turn number two this weekend that he's definitely one to contend with. Looks to the inside. Gets into Perkins. A little bit of contact. They continue on. Now, folks, if you wanted to see anything other than what you're seeing right now, welcome to Irwindale. <laughs> we race him hard about? for the lead. And Trevor Huddleston with that sneak attack move down low. He was in the clean area and gets by the two that were preoccupied with each other for the lead. I just thought we were going to have a lot worse. <laughs> oh, speaking of worse, Perkins gets turned down the back straightaway. Keeps a great job of saving it 360 down the back straightaway. Keeps going, but Tommy, there's a heavy tire rub on the 26 machine of Martinez. Perkins between the two of them. <laughs> he actually, barely lost any time. I know. He's probably going to catch back up to contend for this. He has seven laps to do it, but suddenly Zach St. Ange and Lawless Allen are now your battle wow. for second. Trevor Huddleston out of turn number four, your 2017 champion. Take the win here tonight in race number one for the late models. Race number two for the LKQ Pick Parts late models. We go green. Good job, guys. They are look lined up and look at this. St. Ange actually off the pace in that nine machine, Tommy. Looks like something's amiss on that car. Into turn number two. They are tight, but they are clean. Unbelievable amount of work these drivers are doing. Contact into turn number one. An incredible save by Jagger Jones in the 55. Four wide. Four wide out of turn number two. Can they hold on to it down the back straightaway? These are the moments that make or break championships, and they are all pulling it off right now. I do not know how. There it is. Contact, and we have a big problem down the front straightaway. It's Perkins, who might actually have gotten away oh with that one. Goodness. Incredible starts. I wish we would go uh, yellow every third lap because this is incredible racing oh. on these starts. Oh man, is it tight. St. Ange, once again, that nine machine off the pace. Trevor Huddleston's moved in on this, but Woodside's like, you know what? Oh, oh trouble! trouble. Oh. And another stack up into the corner. Two cars, three cars. <laughs> Make it four cars involved in that wreck as it's Joe Anitis and Helgeson who make hard contact with the wall. And Woodside with the momentum out of turn two. Yeah, he's going to have to work for it hard here, though. Right behind them, Chartel almost has contact oh with Jones. They hold on to it. Huddleston dives it hard into the turn. He may be able to clear Woodside this time. Bye. And he will. New leader, Trevor Huddleston in the 50 machine. From 10th place to 1st. Number 1. Woodside really holding it. Oh, trouble! One car gets turned. It's Gardner. And a hard hit for the 26 machine of Martinez. Guy grace to the start line. And contact, contact. Yeah. with your top two drivers. Woodside gets into the side of Huddleston. Definitely think they they met in the middle there. Now they know each other very well and where they stand, battling for the lead up front. Oh boy! 
boy <laughs> near the tail of the field. <laughs> Joe Nidus almost got put in the wall by Hernandez. They ran out of real estate in that one. Joe Nidus had to get on the brakes. Back up front, we're still side by side for the lead. Woodside to the inside. Oh, how fun it is to say that. Side by side by side. Three rows deep of side by side racing. And up front, Woodside with a nose ahead of Huddleston. And, and he clear. Look at Charteau and Jagger Jones battling hard. Lawless Allen to the inside, but still side by side for the top spot here as we go halfway in this second late model race. But out of turn number four, driver that had no issues tonight, win number two for Trevor Huddleston out of two. 100% for the 50 machine. We got three trucks under a blanket, almost four into turn number one. <laughs> the battle for the lead is nearly three wide out of turn number two. As now Partridge taking a look to the inside with McNeil now going for the inside for the lead. There are options at Irwindale Speedway. High groove, low groove, you tell us where you want to go. And it's usually a spot that you could find because there's so many different lanes that you could choose from. How about McNeil going down to trim the grass a little bit right now? He's going to try to come up. Not going to be able to clear, though. McKaylin fights hard on the outside line. You know, Jeffrey, we used to have 40 trucks in this class, and it used to be like this every lap of every race. We might be down on trucks, but we've got the competitive nature of these drivers continuing it on. Three wide for the lead up front. Oh, boy. They are... This this is, now this is truck racing at Irwindale Speedway, ladies and gentlemen. Three wide action. McKaylin on the outside. McNeil still trying to squeeze there in the in middle. And he <laughs> still was able to maintain. The meat in the sandwich, man, almost became a patty melt there. <laughs> he was slammed shut there in the center. Still duking it out out of turn number two with Partridge down low in the number six truck. McKaylin up oh, high. Oh, man, they're almost <laughs> into each other. They're holding on to these trucks. Fans, I know you got cell phones and I know they have cameras on them. Bring them out and take video and picture of this and spread it all over social media because this is what you all came to see. At least that's why I'm here. <laughs> As you see the battle for second raging on between our top two qualifiers. McNeil on the outside. Partridge on the inside. These two drivers continuing to do get out. Lap number 13 is on the board. And Tommy McKaylin again Again, I'm impressed with this new tire. He expected to struggle a lot more tonight. He is making it happen here. That number 40 truck, one of the fast ones on the track. In oh. fact, he owns the fastest lap of the race so far. As we are still duking it out up front with 21 laps to go. A swap and near contact between McNeil and Partridge. That's how good these drivers are. They're able to drive within inches of each other and continue to do stuff like this. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for these drivers as they come by continuing to race their butts off. That's right. That's it, bud. That's your <laughs> Lap number 15 in the book. 20 laps to go, and I, I have no idea who's going to win this one. I don't know. You see, McKaylin's continuing to hold that outside line. McNeil's been working the inside. Partridge has just been going high to low. He says, where am I supposed to go at this point? And, and on top of all this, they're actually pulling away from fourth yeah. place Dennis Arena. I think Arena's now just going to watch this one. Yeah. You know, he came to win, but I think, you know, he's got a front row seat. He's going to give him some space. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, maybe maybe he's got to figure it out more than we do. You, Tommy, you, you raised a great point. As, look at McNeil slide it off the corner. I You almost start getting, like, like numb to it. You're just like, well, yeah, of course they're racing this close. This it, is truck racing. You might be getting numb to it, but this battle is not getting old. Oh, they're trying. How about Partridge looking to the inside into turn number three? They're three wide once again. Can McKaylin hold it on the outside? Halfway. McKaylee had come up short out of turn number four. It slips back to third. He's going to go dive bomb down into turns number one and two as Partridge has his nose out of two, but McNeil with that high side momentum into turn number three carries on with that lead. It's going to be a drag race out of four to the line. McNeil, and yep. New lap leader. Lap number 19 goes to Partridge. Yeah, McNeil has to keep it, but Partridge, known for this move right here where he slings 
slings it down to the inside. He's able to cut off basically kind of like a slide job that we see at dirt tracks. And Partridge, your new leader in the number six machine, he has made his way to the front. As we get ready to go green, legend cars, we are racing. Look like five laps. a wild start there out of turn number four. Shug jumps to the early lead here. Riggy Legs going to lose a spot or two. Amadon fighting on that outside line. The 33 machine pushes it hard into turn oh, number yeah. three. It didn't really... Oh, oh, Brucker goes around in the number two. And, and no more contact. Great driving. We go yellow. It's going to work every time by. Or you could do what Amadon did and just make the rush into turn number three. Battle side by side down into turn number one. Well, as these two drivers do this, the fastest car on track has actually been the one catching up to them. The 79 machine. That is awesome. Austin Farr. How about Shug back to the inside for the lead? He ain't done with this battle, Amadon. Side by side, and we are just past the halfway point. 13 laps to go. And those two... Oh, trouble into turn number one. I don't know what the issue is, but a couple cars oh, end up... Oil. We got oil on the track. Looks like oil and Hicks also collects into it. Out of turn number four, the 33 of Darren Amadon. Checkered flag in tonight's Enix Legend Car feature here. 35 laps done. And it all goes to Amadon in that 33 machine. Green flag is in the air. Matsu in the 29 machine in the middle of a three wide, middle of four wide. And it looks like we got another car with a potential fuel leak. Oh, and trouble over in the turn. It's the 29 machine going around. Tommy, I agree with you. you I see a fluid, lot right? of fluid coming out of that 21 machine. They're going to want to check in. And I believe that's what spun around the 29 machine. Walkinson scraping the bottom a little bit, going into turn number one and two. Three wide battle for second. The cowboy who just got caught up in a wreck going for the second spot right now. <laughs> oh, man, some great racing. Tommy, you talked about it. There's a couple drivers here. In fact, the top three drivers are drivers that we've seen racing for a long time across several different types of divisions, trucks, late models, Grand American Modifieds. Oh, yeah. And how about the 50 machine making his move towards the front right now? Brad DeBerti, off-road racer, on road now. For the battle for the third spot. Birdie closes in on the bumper of Smith. The birdie looks to the inside. Side by side battle for the lead. Kenny Smith. Kenny Smith closing the door. He's pinching him down, trying to take that line away from DeBerti, but out of turn two. On the gas and the 50 up into the lead. Brad to birdie. Uh, don't look now. Smith back to the inside line. The 43 machine. Kenny Smith, he ain't done with that 50. In fact, Smith just right up to the door. Not able to hold it there. But to birdie right now looking really good after starting at the rear. He's made his way up front. But to birdie coming to the line. Yeah, out of turn number four. They're going to try one last time. But it's the 50 machine. It is Brad to birdie taking the victory. Here tonight at Irwindale Speedway in the Sharky Spec Late Models. Second place to the Cowboy, Kenny Smith. The 24 machine of Craig Yedden gets third. Coming to the line, it will be John Watkinson in fourth. Fifth place held on by Hibbard and Aravello rounding out the field. Tommy, watch the flagman getting ready to throw it. Green flag is in the air, and we're racing for 30 laps, Junior Late Models. The future of motorsports. You're seeing them right now as they race around this one-third mile infield oval. Edwards working that outside line, Tommy. Something we don't usually see here at the, on the third mile, but hey, if it's going to work, make it work early. 18. Good battle there. Yeah, they're side by side, door handle to door handle. Yeah, last night there was a really good battle for the second spot between Keller and the 24 of Smotherman. Those two drivers right now said that they cannot let that 18 machine get ahead of them, Austin Edwards. And right now you see how hard Keller is fighting to keep that 18 machine from taking over the lead. Great race up front, Tommy. We're still side yeah. by side on this flat third mile. I don't know if these kids know that the race is on. No more pace laps. We're, we're racing. <laughs> Look at the three cars duking it out up front. Smotherman in that 24. He's got the greatest seat, except for he wants a clear view. 
He now gets by to the inside. Edwards, you saw him drifting it wide. Side for the second spot. Smotherman's car looks like it's not handling quite to his like and gets right on the bumper of that 18 machine, but Edwards takes over the second spot. Now it's Keller that he's going to set his sights on. Speaking of sights, Tommy, how about the sunset that we have over Beautiful. out of turn number one? Beautiful sunset going on. As a... Uh I think it matches the colors, almost resemble <laughs> your second and third place runners. I was, uh, yeah, you noticed that, didn't you? The number 12, Kyle oh, Keller. Look at Edwards. Talk about pushing it hard. <laughs> he threw it as hard and far as he could into turn number three. That car was not going to hold on, but a beautiful save out of the 18 machine. He's going to lose a spot. He's going to put on a little bit of a burnout for all you folks. But, oh, speaking of putting oh, on a show, wow. how about Braden Connor? Give him a hand, ladies and gentlemen. Uncontrolled intersection, and we go racing. And we nearly go wrecking <laughs> to start things off. Tommy, you and I have had experience running these cars Three in this type of racing, figure eight racing. And this is this is actually the calmest part of the race because you know there's no one coming from the other side of the track. Yeah, this is a full-on sprint mode until you get to about half track distance. That's when you got to worry about that intersection. But, you know, we got a bunch of fast cars. Hopefully we do get some sort of an intersection crossover action. <laughs> this is Argo's really looking in contact with your leader, Paperny, but a great save by the 89. And that'll allow Argo to get by on the inside driver's left as Paperny now will be in the good spot going into this right-hander. But he'll make some contact with the 37 of Bellinas <laughs> and continue to slip back. You want to mention uh, Paperny, Tommy. We've, we've seen that driver take some hard hits in trailer racing. Uh oh trouble for the 37. That slows up. The 90s. Oh, and Paperny gets dumped. But across the line, it's Rodney Argo taking the victory in the figure eights. Howell on the bumper. No can do. Rice second, third. Howell.